year is a very important year for Mont Blanc because it's really the year where we feel that we are completing a chapter that started in 2015 and a chapter where we started to rework all the product lines at Mont Blanc and all reworking uh, from a Minerva uh, approach because as you know in 2015 we fully integrated Minerva and Mont Blanc creating a, a very strong business unit. Uh, this year is about two particular uh, product lines. Uh, the continuity in the already successful 1858 with a very amazing model that is talking a lot about the exploration, about these military watches from the 1920s and 30s that were very important uh, decades at Minerva and that are a lot about exploration and outdoor, which is why when you enter the booth, uh, you enter into a lot of uh, nature and, and mountain. And the second collection, which is about more another decade, the 40s and 50s, uh, which is clearly about uh, sophistication, elegance of this time, and also a lot of vintage. If I had to name a few models of this year, I think I would start with the one that I'm wearing on my wrist. And I believe this is definitely the next phase of Mont Blanc for the next years. That's going to become one of our product hero. And why? Because this geosphere that I'm wearing today is again very much uh, translating this uh, outdoor. Many of you living in uh, so stressful cities and uh, that are aspiring to be able to reconnect to nature, reconnect to life and basically reconnect to yourself. And the Geosphere has a very strong Minerva inspiration with this Geosphere module uh, that has been completely developed in-house and with this green khaki, this, uh, this ceramic bezel, uh, the bronze case that is going to give some uh, patina over the years and becoming kind of a unique piece. That's definitely uh, one of the big highlights uh, of the fair. But I'm also a big fan of fine watchmaking, a big fan of Minerva and a big fan of the 100% Minerva caliber approach. And this new uh, split second chronograph that we are launching, the 1631, uh, which is mostly this part of the watch, this amazing movement, very complex. Everything is handmade, handcrafted and hand developed, you know, in our manufacture in Minerva. And I think most probably uh, one of the best value on the market when it comes on to the high end uh, segment. There is a second key product line that we are presenting in the SIHS 2019, uh, which is uh, the Heritage Collection, which is definitely an expression of classicism in a vintage uh, way. Very important collection and the highlight is definitely again if I go to a pure Minerva approach, uh, which is this chronograph monopusher with this beautiful salmon dial that gives this a lot of the vintage look uh, with this uh, sapphire glass uh, box. Uh, very unique uh, dial with the dot as indexes like you would have in the uh, historical Minerva watches. And again, as I said, always with Minerva, the real beauty of the watch is at the back of the case with this amazing movement, fully handcrafted and handmade uh, in Minerva. This is limited edition, it's 100 pieces, obviously, it's not of a low price from an absolute value since it's retailing at 28,000 euro. And I know that all of you would love to wear this kind of watch but may not be able to afford it. Which is why we also decided this year to develop a special movement, a unique, in, in fact, an exclusivity from Celita for Mont Blanc uh, that will give you the opportunity to access to a very beautiful uh, manufacturer chronograph movement a mono pusher as well, in a price point that is really uh, exceptional since we are going to be at 4,700 euro while keeping all the aesthetic and the design code of this beautiful uh, heritage collection. If I have to answer this always so difficult question, what is your favorite watch of the fair? I don't think there is a favorite watch, but there is one watch that I hope will become uh, a favorite watch of all of you, it's definitely the Geosphere 1858 Green Kaki.